Okay guys, today we're going to be going over the Tascam 2020 interface, how to take it apart. The interface is taken apart with two sections. Here's the screws for it, and I'm going to show you the locations of the screws. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Here. Um, there's different screws that go here and to the the back of the interface. There's no need to take any screws from the front. There's none there. We have the interface tilted so you can see easier of uh, where the screw locations go. These are the screws here at the bottom. They all come from the back and the bottom. There's also uh, four small screws from the sides here. Two on each side. Now the key here is there are four screws from the back that have to be remembered and they are as follows. There is a, we'll start with the top here. Could be from any of them, it doesn't matter. They're the same. They're right there, these four screws. But they are found in the black fin processor right next to it. There's one right there. So it'll be right here. That's where it goes. Black fin processor. Power. There's another one here that goes right there next to the power. And there's also one that goes on the sixth location of the screw. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. Right between that section and the MIDI section. Here's another one. It's small. And there's the 75 ohm section here at the top. Through and word out. Right there. So those are the only four screws you have to watch out for. Everything else is pretty much standard. To remove the unit, once the screws are out, you're pulling it apart. Uh, it's, you got to be very careful of this because the metal on the sides is very, very thin. You can easily bend this very easily. But play with it, go slow, and it'll come out. Here's the unit. And we're going to lay the unit flat on the table so that it's easier to look at. And like I said, you don't need to worry about anything in the front. We're not working with any in the front. We're just looking in here to see uh, what we have and if we can do, it, do some modifications to it. Okay, I'm going to turn it toward the camera here so you can see a bit closer. And that's what the interface looks like on the inside. So again, the front, uh, if you want to get to it, say if you wanted to uh, change over a potentiometer, uh, there is a couple of screws here to remove, not many, here, just to get to the front of it to replace a port if you needed to. In this case, what we're going to be looking at is what are they using here. And according to this, uh, they're using, I'm going to read it off here, uh, analog Devices Blackfin ADSP BF607 uh, KBCZ-5. They're also using in here uh, an Altera Cyclone 4 processor. So they're also using that. And that is also the uh, ADAT and uh, the USB. Spit up on there. So that's what they're using for this. Now in terms of uh, outputs, here's the outputs here. You could, in theory, uh, tap into one of the other outputs and add another one here if you wished. Uh, if you wanted to do that. Okay, so we're going to lift that one more time. This unit works with USB 3 and 2 as well. Now I'm not going to dwell too deep into the hardware that it uses, but I, I gave you some uh, major uh, information about what processor is being used here. And uh, the actual board itself is tagged with TIAC, PCB USB US 2020G, um, E9053210B. Now, 
that is the uh, code for it. Um, you can remove it, so it is removable. Uh, so it is completely uh, standalone. It is a, an add-on card. That's how they're doing these interfaces details. So basically, it's an interface within the SP card add-on. Okay, so that's the way it works. And I think we're going to stop there. The rest of the hardware is pretty much just standard, so there's really nothing special about it. The caps look pretty good. Generic. Looks like generic off-the-shelf stuff. Nothing very really high-end here, okay? Just to let you know. Even one of these things is a little bent. I'll bend it back a bit. Other than that, it is what it is. It's a cheap interface. I got it for a cheap price. I just wanted a kind of an interface that I could rack pretty quick and throw a few inputs into it just for scratch playing and recording. Uh, one thing that I don't like is the pots. They're very uh, small, so your fingers will get jammed in here. <laughs> so you got to be careful of that. Okay, they're very small. All right, there's not a lot of space between them. That's it for the interface. There's not really a lot to discuss. <laughs> uh, the features are available online already if you want to know. I just wanted to show you an inside view of this and what it actually looks like. And the uh, the card that they're using for the, uh, the DSP, which is the Blackfin. And there you go. So I want you to... If you see this, if you have the same unit, you know, take it apart, see if there's anything different there. Uh, if you have the 16 version or 8, take it apart, look at it, see what they're doing. Very interesting, they're just adding an add-on card on top of it, and it's just a you know, regular interface. Three-mode interface, not too bad for the price. It's, it's under $500 now, so... There you go. The Tascam 2020. Okay, now you're going to ask, well, how do you put this back together with all the ports in there? Well... Just use a screwdriver or something just to wiggle them into place into the sockets. There's quite a few here to do, so you got to be careful. You don't break them because you also have little switches. But just take it easy. Go slow until they all fall in the pockets and then start screwing them from this side. Just one at a time. Make sure they're all okay. That's the back now. Here's the front. And as you can see, we put the wings back on for the rack, and the unit's ready to go back on the rack. Thanks for watching.